So one that we talk about on here a lot is like how conspiracy theorists will say, oh, well, if something is, if, if something shows that I'm wrong, well, that was a part of the conspiracy. That's what they want you to think. Yeah. So wait, is, did you mean to send something else? Oh, let's see what it is. Wait, that is the one that you sent. That was the one I looked at. Yeah. Oh, well, this redneck dude is, um, is, is getting mad at me on here. You want to see? Why wouldn't you follow my line of questions? Why were the women being transported to Georgia where the CDC is located? You did not want to debate or understanding. You wanted to troll and be a fascist. Typical. We are all trying to talk and learn, but not you. Yes, I am the fascist, not the guy who literally came into my chat to to use the to try and hand wave to try and hand wave eugenics and genocide by saying, why are they in Georgia? It really makes you think, don't it? I'm just asking questions. Yeah, fuck this guy. Fuck this fucking 300 viewer idiot Andy. Sorry, dude. Fuck off. You're going to try and say, you're going to try and call me a fascist over you being too much, too irresponsible in chat to actually sit down and fucking listen for one second about something that your guy is doing. Your guy, the fascist. Let's see. Does he have fucking Trump supporter in his fucking bio? American roots since 1655. Come and take it. Let's look at this goof. Wait. Literally, he's civil war baiting on it. That's the first post. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, we're going to change the segment now. Hold on, let's see. Making fun of right-wing LARPers. America, native Texan, disabled veteran, father, husband, America first, independent, God, guns, freedom, and rap. How much you want to say this guy is it w has gone on a rant at some point in his life? Ha has gone on a rant about about id poll, despite his actual his bio just being one hundred percent id poll. They always do this. Id poll, 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 id I didn't see that one. Resend that one under the thunder. Is he anecdote Andy? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. But let's just take a look. This was literally the first tweet on his timeline besides his pinned tweet. Just can't wait for a civil war. Just a matter of time. Yep, that's how liberalism is a mental disorder. You guys remember my tweet that I made like a little bit ago? Remember this tweet right here? Hold on, let me go to it. Here you go. Conservative panels. Four white guys with short hair, two in suits, two in flaming skull t-shirts complain about liberals. Lefty panels. Nine people with wildly different backgrounds, experiences, and identity grapple with moral and political issues in their everyday lives. This is the guy. White guy with short hair with a flaming skull t-shirt complaining about liberals. Look at this shit. It's literally exactly what he's doing. Yep, liberalism is a mental disorder. Good argument, my dude good argument my dude keep in mind that you came into my chat to apologize for for fucking genocide you came in here to apologize for race-based eugenics you fucking idiot can't wait for a civil war just a matter of time holy shit wait is that his name tom is that who this guy is this guy's got a website oh this guy's followed by people that i know that's that's unfortunate Jesus Christ. Yeah, go for it. Clip it. Go ahead and clip it. This is what this guy's talking about right here. Fucking this guy, Redneck QTM, hmm, is talking about how he just can't wait for a civil war. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that incredible? This is the type of advocacy we're getting on the right right now. It's literally fucking, they're like going hog wild. This guy's advocating that he's excited for a civil war. Holy shit. Yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes it's okay to have clowns up there because they make a fool of themselves and nobody takes them seriously. Sometimes you got to have some clowns on there. It's true. 
Yeah, oh, um, here we go. Trump signaling QAnon in his recent interview is su supremely fucking scary. This is some insanely far-right shit. Could you imagine if the fucking Democrats did something similar? Like, imagine fucking Biden going on stage and saying, well, you see, Jack, there's this there's this guy whose bu books I've been reading. His name is Posadas. Yeah, true. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Sorry, I, I use Twitter really weird. I have a lot of people that I follow um, muted because I use fucking lists to keep track of stuff so that my timeline is mostly news. So I apologize. I was I was not looking at that properly. That's my bad. Um... Yeah, that's that's literally my bad. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's 100% trying to trying to fucking um trying to um launch a channel. What a goof. What a fucking goof. What a joke. Why wouldn't you follow my line of questions? Come on, my dude. Come on, my dude. This is just silly now. Let's see what this redneck dickhead is up to. Here we go. Let's see. He's subtweeting me still. Let's see. Lol. Stay mad. Stay mad. Stay mad. I'm willing to talk with anyone about anything. I'll try to understand your views and idea. I'd ask you to extend the same for me. Stop banning people you disagree with. Stop acting in bad faith as a default posture. Stop silencing someone who th shares their thought. We just, we can just rewind the VOD. Y'all can watch the VOD later. I'm like specifically said, hey, my dude, don't come in here and drop Trump shit in the middle of a segment where we're talking about the unequivocal fact that ICE is enacting eugenics procedures on, um, on, uh, on detainees at concentration camps and i said listen we can talk about this after or whatever but don't drop trump shit in here okay and then he comes in and goes i'm just asking questions about georgia come on my dude come on my dude this this is straight cope redneck cope 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 this is cope 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 from the guy mind you cope from the guy who says, I can't wait. It's just a matter of time until the civil of war. Look at this. Just look at this. This is the one we were looking for. Grime Dango, I don't know if you saw this, but this is the level of copium this guy is on. Do you think a civil war is coming? Please retweet after voting. We need a large sample. Can't wait. Just a matter of time. No likes. No retweets. No replies. R -r -r Ratioed. Bye-bye. This has been up for... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This has been up for... An hour and 15 minutes. No interaction. Yeah, yeah. True, Carpe Pax. True. My stream is a private business that reserves the right to refuse service to anyone for any reason, including dumb shit MAGA heads who can't show even a lick of respect for this country and the things that are going on here. Yeah, he's trying to be a streamer. Well, he's failing. He's failing. As it turns out, if you want to be, here's, here's a secret. I'm going to give you guys all, this is, that's it. This is it. This is free advice, free advice. You ready? This is free streaming advice. If you want to be a streamer, you actually have to be able to make relationships with other people who share your space. Even if you disagree with them sometimes, if you can't do that, you will forever be an island and you will never have cross you know, cross growth, you'll never be able to collaborate with other people. You'll never be able to talk with other people. As it turns out, barging into people's chats when they explicitly are doing a specific segment and say, hey, don't be annoying and don't fill the chat with MAGA shit while we're talking about this. And then you do that is a really great way to burn a, to burn bridges with, with other creators who are trying to make content. It's true. It's not just advice for being a streamer. True, Angel Rider. True.